and welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. This channel is all about planning, budgeting, paying off debt, and my very exciting journey from full-time teacher to full-time Etsy shop owner and YouTuber. So if that is something that you think you would like to see, then please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you along on this journey. In today's video, we're going to be closing out my family budget for the second... I think it's, I believe it's the second week of February. Yes, we're gonna close out the second week and we're gonna set up the third week. Okay, um, but I just wanted to go over a couple of things with you before we jump in. I am reading this book, Atomic Habits, and I, through reading the book, I learned a couple of things about myself and I learned why I was make, I was struggling with my family budget a little bit. So a couple of the mistakes that I was making is I was, planning for the budget I want to eventually have versus the budget I have. Let me explain that a little bit better. Okay, so uh, let's talk about in terms of exercise. Let's say eventually I wanna work, I wanna walk 30 minutes every day. That's my eventual goal. And I could write that out, walk 30 minutes every day. But to make realistic long-term changes or habits, um, you need to start where you actually are, and then you need to make changes from there, small changes from there. So, for example, with the walking, I might say, okay, well, I'd like to walk every day for 30 minutes, but currently I'm not walking at all. So I'm going to set a goal to walk five minutes one day this week. That's a realistic small goal that I can build off of. So as far as my budget goes, I was laying out what I want to happen in my budget, but it wasn't realistic. I want to only spend $150 a week on groceries, but that's not realistic. We spend more than that consistently, and I wasn't really sure where we were because I didn't know how much food actually cost, like each item individually actually cost. So if you want to see how last week's food budget our food plan went and how much things ended up costing and then what my plan is for this week, make sure you stick around till the end of the video because I'm gonna be sharing that at the end of the video. And then the second area of our budget that I realized was our biggest like problem area is our miscellaneous spending. I really wasn't budgeting for miscellaneous spending and I wasn't even sure how much to budget for miscellaneous spending because those are items that we need or want and they didn't have a place anywhere in our budget. So when I, something came up, we had to try and figure out a way to pay for it. And it just, it, we didn't have a plan for it. So, so that's the second category I'm also working on right now. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna give myself some grace for, this, for the rest of this month, which is February. February and March, I'm gonna give myself some grace and I am not planning on spending money in miscellaneous and instead I'm tracking how much I actually spend in miscellaneous and then I can have like an average between the two months of how much we realistically spend in miscellaneous and then I can use that information to set up a budget going forward. So that's where we are with those two areas. Okay friends, let's go ahead and jump in. In today's family budget check-in, I'm going to be using the Budget by Paycheck workbook by The Budget Mom. I do have a link to her website in the description box below. Everything else you see today is also um, in the description box below in my Amazon storefront. Okay, so starting with the expense tracker, the way I use her expense tracker is I do one sheet per week. It just helps me keep things organized that way. And then I create a key at the bottom with the total for each of my budget categories. That way, when I go at the end of the month, when I go to close out my budget, I have all of the information neatly in place. Okay, so let's go over to the calendar and take a look at where we spent our money this week. Starting with bills, we ended up only having one bill this week. It was for Metronet, which is our internet and that was $87. Next we had a debt one debt payment to our SUV for $118. For food this week I am going to go over um, the food with you at the end here in a lot more detail but just giving you the totals right now we had two food purchases 
We had our normal um, Sam's Club sh uh, shopping trip and we spent 105 this week on that. And then we went to Fairway this week and we spent $78. So we're gonna go over the details of that in just a moment here. Okay, next is gas. We set aside $20 for gas. For miscellaneous, um, we have several miscellaneous expenses because I am doing a new miscellaneous thing. Um, I'm actually filming this before I filmed the intro, so hopefully I explained all this in the intro. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> okay, so we had, I did wash my, my car this week and that was $10. That's not something I do every week. Um, but it doesn't really have a budget category. And that's the whole thing with the miscellaneous is I don't have budget category for these things. So that's why I'm doing the miscellaneous. Okay, so we did, um, Logan did get his Oculus this week for his birthday. And I didn't think about this ahead of time. Um, he didn't have enough money for the taxes. So I, I paid the taxes, which was $32. Then we had an Amazon purchase and everything on this Amazon purchase was like things for the house, like cleaning products for the house. Now this is not something that happens on a regular basis. This happens only maybe a few times a year and that was $86. Part of that was hand soap because we had been using the Blue Land hand soap, which I love and it's easy to refill, but the problem was the pumps on the Blue Land hand soap, um, we're giving out and there's no way to purchase more pumps, uh, which is very distressing. I mean, I, if you guys know how to purchase Blue Land pumps, please let me know because we have the glass bottles, which are called like forever bottles. They're supposed to last forever. And it's only $2, like the tab that you put in the Blue Land to refill it, it's only $2. So it's a great hand soap um, option, but we need the pump, we need new pumps. Okay, anyways. Um, so after Logan had had his Oculus for a few days, David uh, bought him a game. Uh, he Before that, he was just using whatever free games came on with it or were available. I'm not exactly sure how it works. I think there's some free games available, like just available that he was using. And then um, David bought him a game, uh, I think it's called Beat Saber. It looks like so much fun. I actually want to play it. <laughs> it's like it's a good workout. Like there's like these music things coming towards you that you have to hit. Okay, anyways, it looks fun. It was $33. And then for our spending money, we got $45 for spending money. That was 20 for David, 20 for me, and five for Logan. For sinking funds, we were able to do all of our sinking funds this week for $105. And for our savings challenge, we set aside $26. There is a video with that savings challenge from last week if you wanna go back and watch that video and see um, where we came up with that number. Okay, so that was it for expenses this week. Let's go ahead and take a look at the budget, see what we budgeted versus what we actually spent and what the difference was. Okay, so this was for the second week of February and we had a rollover of 612. By the way, I'm going back to week to week check-ins. I did try and set up the whole month at the beginning of the month this month and that just doesn't work for me. I need to do week to week for everything to make sense. So. Um, my Etsy pay was $370, and we also made a deposit from our savings account of $1,000. The reason why I did that is a couple things. One, I want to have a $1,000 cushion in my account at all times. Two, then number two, we're doing some experimenting in our food budget and our miscellaneous budget this month, and I need some flexibility. So those are the two main reasons why I decided to transfer $1,000 from my savings account into our main family account. So all together, that should be 1982, but I'm going to just calculate that to make sure. Yes, 1982. Okay, so coming down to our bills, there are some bills that didn't come out this week. So let's go to the front of the workbook 
to my bill tracker. So I have week two and three together because um, sometimes these bills come out week two, sometimes they come out week three. So Metronet did come out and it was, was it 89? Let's go back and look. It was 87, so it was a couple dollars cheaper than what we budgeted. So I'm gonna go over here and cross that off. The SUV also came out, so I'm gonna go ahead and cross that off. We'll come down here to SUV, and it was, I believe it was 118, but let me just double check. Yes, it was 118. Okay, so Google Fi, Netflix, and our City of Ames bill has not come out yet. I'm just double check, make sure that's right. Yep, none of those came out this week. So it's going to be zero for those, and I'm going to put a star next to them. That just reminds me that I need to, when we're setting up week three, I need to include these three items on week three's budget. Make sure, Google Fi, Netflix, Ames. Yeah, there's nothing else, okay. So let's see how much we spent on bills this week or our fixed expenses because some of these are bills and some are debt. We spent 205. I just want to clarify because this confused me when I first started budgeting, like what was a bill, what was a debt? So the way I categorize that for myself is a debt is something that's going to be paid off and it's a bill we're not gonna have to pay anymore at some point in the future. Bills will always exist. They never get paid off. Even when I retire, I'll still have to pay for cable. I'll still have to pay my cell phone bill, you know, things like that. Okay, so 1982 minus 205. That is 1777. I'm gonna bring that down here to our um, variable expenses. Okay, so there are some differences here. So first of all, spending money was $45. Now food, let's see where we were for food. So we had Sam's for 105 and Fairway for 78. That is 183. So we ended up spending $183 this week on food. And I just wanna show you my cashless cash envelope so you can see what that looks like. I am gonna do a um, cash envelope stuffing tomorrow or, yeah, I think it's coming out tomorrow, but just, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So you can see, so far this month, we are negative 158. Um, I'm okay with this because I'm trying to figure out what we're really spending on food so I can have a realistic budget going forward. So I'm okay that we're going negative this month as I figure that out. Okay, gas. We did, we did deposit $20 for gas and that did go into the envelope. I didn't actually um, get gas, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that money's gone because it's, it's accounted for. And um, also, if it's left over at the end of the month, it's not going back into my budget. It's going to pay off debt. So, so it's gone, it's not in my account anymore. Okay, so miscellaneous. So let's see, 32 plus 10 plus 33 plus 86. So that's 161. Again, I am okay with this because I am learning. I have to know where I'm at realistically so that I can have a realistic plan going forward. And in order to do that, it's, it's going to cost money for me to figure this, all this out. I can't continue going on pretending there's no miscellaneous expenses in life when there are. There are miscellaneous expenses almost every week, and I need to be realistic about the fact that I need money for that. Okay, so 161, and then our savings challenge was $26, is that right? Yeah, it was $26. Okay, so let's see all together how much we spent on variable expenses this week. Four hundred and thirty-five. Okay, so seventeen seventy-seven minus four thirty-five 
1342. Okay, I'm gonna bring that up here to our sinking funds. Okay, so when we set up week three, I'm gonna change a couple of these categories, but we'll go over that in week three. This was in fact the amount that I put in our sinking funds last week, and there is a video where um, I, show you, I show you how I stuff. So there is a video from last week if you wanna check that out. And we did do 105. So just really quickly, we put $5 for birthdays, 10 for car maintenance, 10 for car registration, 15 for Christmas, five for memberships, 25 for vacation, 10 for vet, and 25 for iPad. And altogether, that's 105. So 1342 minus 105. That brings us down to 1237. We are not doing an extra debt payment this week, so that's zero, and we still have 1237. Bringing that down here, we're rolling all of this over to next week to help cover um, bills and expenses. Okay, so that is week two. Let's go ahead and set up our budget plan for week three. Okay, so starting with rollover, we have a rollover of 1237. Now remember, at the end of the month, my goal is to have a $1,000 still in our account. So really when I look at this, I think, okay, I have 237. But that cushion is there to help us get through. Okay, so Etsy is 370. So all together, let's see how much that would be. 1237 plus 370, 1607. Okay, so let's start with the bills that did not come out yet. We have Google Fi, and that is a bill, and it will be $52. Next, we have Netflix, and that's a bill, and it'll be 15. And finally, we have our City of Ames bill. This covers water and power. It's a bill, and it will be 274. Okay, so let me see all together what our bills are going to be this week. 341. So 1607 minus 341, that is 1266. Bringing that down to our variable expenses. Okay, so spending is going to be 45. Food, again, I don't know exactly how much food's going to be because this month we're just getting the food we need so we can see uh, realistically how much we're spending on food, but just uh, to make sure that we have some money designated for food, I'm going to say 150. Gas, I'm going to keep that at 20. Miscellaneous, also I don't know how much we need. I'm just going to put that at zero for right now and we will see what the actual amount is um, next week when we check in again. And savings challenge. So I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. It's going to be at least $30. I'm gonna explain this when I do the savings challenge video, but we're gonna do it a little bit different. It's going to end up being more than that, but you'll see that when we do the savings challenge video. Okay, so all together, let's see how much we're going to set aside for our variable expenses. So we have 45, 150, 20, and 30. That's 245. So we have 1266 minus 245. That is 1021. Bringing that up here. Okay, so I did make a couple of changes and I wanna go over this with you really quickly. Okay, I'm going to grab my little cheat sheet here and we will make the changes here as well. Okay, so car registration. We do not need to save $10 um, a month because it's gone down. We only need to do, I'm sorry, $10 a week. We're going to do $5 a week going forward. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so this is, let me just raise this whole thing. 
So this is $20 a month divided by four weeks comes to $5 a week. And then the other one I need to change is memberships. I'm going to increase this to $40 a month. So 40 divided by four is 10. So what happened basically is those two items switched places. I was saving 10 here, now I'm saving five. I was saving five here and now I'm saving 10. Okay, so let's write down all of these amounts on our budget sheet. So birthdays is five, car maintenance, 10, car registration, five, Christmas, 15, memberships, 10, vacation, 25, vet, 10, and iPad, 25. So all together, it still comes to 105. So 121 minus 105, I'm sorry, 1021. That brings us to 916. And I will do a cash envelope stuffing video um, later this week, if you wanna come back and check that out. Okay, so bringing that down here towards our extra debt, we are not making an extra debt payment this week, so we still have 916. Coming down to extra savings, so we have 916, and we're gonna roll over all of this to next week to help cover bills. Now, you will see we have dropped below that $1,000 mark, which, I, which is what I don't wanna do eventually going forward in the future. I wanna always have at least $1,000 in our account. I knew that was gonna happen as we get things figured out this month. Um, so I'm not too worried. At the end of the month, I'll know how much of a bonus I'm gonna get from Etsy. So the first thing I'm gonna do with that bonus is make sure that we're back up to $1,000 in our account. And then I will go from there as far as paying off extra debt and things like that. Okay friends, so let's take a closer look at where our food money went this week. So we had a shopping trip to Sam's where we spent $105. Now, we purchased, we had two large purchases that don't happen every week. We had dog food, which uh, David and I think we get once every two months, and that was about almost $20. And then coffee, I don't know how often we get coffee, so we're going to have to kind of keep an eye on that. But it's definitely not week to week, but that's a $25 cost. That happens maybe once a month. We'll see going forward as we tr continue to track um, our expenses. So taking those two out of the equation, 19 and 25. Okay, 105 minus 25 minus 19. Okay, so we spent realistically, that's how much we would spend at Sam, $61. Things we got from Sam's. We got mixed nuts, almond bars, frozen fruit, chimichangas, and cheese. Okay. So moving over to Fairway, this is where I buy like the ingredients to make our meals and all together that came to $78. Now let's look at each um, individual meal and how much it ended up costing. And then we'll also share this week's plan with you as well. Okay, so last week, uh, on, when I came to you on Sunday, I made a Chipotle bowl and that didn't cost anything because I used everything from our pantry and our freezer to make that. So I mean, it cost our family money originally when we purchased those items, but it didn't cost us any extra money this week because I already had everything in my pantry. Okay, I made the chorizo potato recipe from YouTube and it ended up costing $5.50. The Philly bowl recipe ended up costing $8. By the way, we I make this and then we eat it for several meals. So it's not just one meal, but actually several meals. I only cook usually once a day, and because I work at home and Logan homeschools, we eat all of our meals here. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner is eaten at home, but I only cook once a day. Okay, moving over to the ranch chicken potato. This was a uh, from the family fudge. This was her recipe. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it was delicious, and it was 8.50. And again, it lasted several meals. We ended up not making fried rice because we had so many leftovers to finish. Then our pancakes and bacon cost $6.50. Now, the pancakes ended up costing $1.50 and the bacon was $5. So uh, next week, I'm going to try to make this even cheaper and I'll show you that with you in just a moment. And then yesterday we ended up not cooking the sausage and potatoes because again, we were finishing up leftovers. 
I do still have the sausage, so I can use that. I'm gonna use that uh, next week in a recipe. Okay, so let's move on to my plan for next week. We have the, I'm going to make this chicken ranch potato. I'm, the only thing I'm gonna change is instead of putting chicken, I'm gonna use ground beef. I'm hoping it still tastes good. Um, something Logan and I decided this week or really figured out is we're not fans, real big chicken fans. So I actually have, still have some chicken in my freezer that I can use in the future for recipes, but I think I'd rather do it in like a crock pot recipe. So that's just a freezer item for the future. Okay, um, so we're gonna try to use ground beef for this and hopefully it tastes good as well. We're gonna make Philly roll again, because that's one of my favorite things right now. Um, we're gonna have chicken sandwiches. These, this is a bit, uh, like vegetarian chicken sandwiches with pasta on this side. And then um, chorizo potatoes, I'm gonna make that again, it was really good. Um, we're gonna do one takeout day this week. We're gonna spend $10 on pizza and we're gonna do that on Thursday. Okay, now we're gonna do the pancakes again, which was $1.50 and I'm gonna try something else. I just wrote sausages there, but I'm gonna try a different protein uh, besides bacon to see if we can come up with anything cheaper. So I'm not sure how much the protein's gonna cost yet. And then I'm going to make fried rice from ingredients from our pantry. I'm gonna use that sausage. So it's gonna be like a pork fried rice um, next Saturday. So this is the plan. We'll see what actually, uh, we, what we make, but yeah, it's really interesting to see how much these, you know, break down to, um, yeah. Okay, uh, also, oh, sorry. So there's some things here I make that Logan's not a fan of. So I wanted to have some other protein options for him. And basically what I'm going to do is when I make something he doesn't like, he can have one of these protein options and then he can also have like, we always have fruit and veggies on hand, like baby carrots and apples. So you can have like meatballs and baby carrots and apples or fish sticks and baby carrots and apples, <laughs> like that kind of thing. So I'm also planning on purchasing, oh, I think I forgot to tell you guys. I'm, I wanna purchase from Walmart this week. I'm gonna do a grocery pickup. I'm gonna pick out the items I want um, and then per and do that because I wanna compare Walmart prices to fairway prices. Okay, so meatballs, fish, uh, these are just protein things I'm gonna look for when I when I get on the Sam, the, wa the, sorry, the, Walmart, the Walmart site. I'm gonna look for meatballs, fish sticks, chicken nuggets, corn dogs, hot dogs, uh, the chicken sandwiches and hamburgers, like Morningstar, the, the, ve the vegetarian ones, um, because uh, these are what we like. Okay, so, whew, that is the meal plan for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, will you please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all again next time. Bye everyone.